Hey guys, we're here today at Vancouver Convention Center for Man Talks School of Greatness. What is Man Talks? Well, it's a growing community of men who are having bold conversations and redefining what it means to be a man in today's day and age. There's about 400 people that are here to take in the event, and we're gonna go upstairs, talk to Connor Beaton to hear about what Man Talks is all about. Man Talks. What a novel idea. What exactly is it? <laughs> uh, it's a really great question. Um, you know, we've, we've got some media attention recently and people described it as uh, TED Talks meets Oprah, but for guys. But really what we're about is we're about creating a positive space for masculinity and about, you know, defining what it really means to be a man in this crazy modern society. We want to lead extraordinary, extraordinary lives. But in order to do that, we have to shift from the things that we want to do to the ways in which we want to be. You know, I started it because I went through a pretty dark space uh, in my past and I really struggled with depression and, and uh, a little bit of addiction. And it really hit home for me when a lot of my guy friends were struggling with similar things. They were struggling with depression or their business were falling apart or their relationships were a mess and nobody knew. And I realized that there was a need to support guys in, you know, some of the real stuff that's going on in their lives. You know, we, we are a speaker series, so we find men who are making a difference in the community and then we give them a space to share their personal message, their personal story. So it's less about an, a specific idea, per se, and more so about that personal journey. And I realized that I was doing it for all the wrong reasons. I wasn't thinking and acting like a child anymore, trying to do something for fun and to inspire others. I was doing it to prove others wrong. Entrepreneur, professional athlete, best-selling author, uh, and the host of the School of Greatness podcast. You wear a lot of hats. Yes. Um, what made you decide to add this uh, keynote speaker at Man Talks to your resume? Um, you know, I, I wrote a book called The School of Greatness as well, and one of the things I noticed while doing this podcast and this whole book process is that men in general, and including myself, I used to be very <sighs> egotistical and focused on being right all the time. And that gave me a lot of drive. It gave me a lot of focus to achieve goals, but it left me feeling very empty inside. And it comes down to typically contribution and giving and being in service to other people, not just yourself and what I want. Um, so when they told me they wanted me to come speak, I thought it'd be a great synergy and I'm excited to be here. What do you hope people here in Vancouver take away from your talk today? That they matter and that they matter in a big way and that it doesn't you don't have to achieve and collect things to matter and to make a difference, that it's really about opening your heart and connecting with people in a loving way. What do you think is like the it factor that is making this thing so popular amongst both men and women? I think the authenticity of it, uh, people really being vulnerable and, and sharing their story because that's I think what we all connect to is you know, we all go through a lot of the same things in life and hearing some different perspectives and how people dealt with those things and coming out on the other end is, is just huge. Having men actually share their truth and share what's, what they're going through. You know, sometimes you have talks that are incredibly funny and we're just like busting a gut the whole time. And other times you have men who are just breaking down in tears during their entire, entire talk. And every, the whole spectrum, every single talk is always really beautiful. Well, there you have it. Man Talks School of Greatness. And yes, today I was schooled by great talks with inspiring men. And Man Talks hosts similar events like this in Vancouver every single month. So if you missed it today, please come check one out in the future. Man or woman, it's a talk we can all benefit from.